And he never fully trusted me. I mean, I, that's my fault, I know. Maybe things would be different if, I don't know, she had a little faith in me. I just wish I could help her. Don't blame yourself, JR. This wasn't your fault. Well, actually, maybe he should. Please, JR feels bad enough as it is. I just came from seeing Annie's little girl, actually. You know what she's been through? And I guess you thought you could really handle Annie, but then again, J.R. Chandler thinks he can handle anything, Jake. right? No, it's all right. You're not going to get any arguments from me. Annie saved my life. I paid her back by ruining hers. Well, good to see you got the stones to admit that. What are you doing here, anyway? I had a break. Hungry. Ordered some food. So I guess all of this is part of the uh, job description, convincing your boss that he didn't push Annie to her breaking point. We just got here. We hadn't gotten to talking business yet. And that's my fault, too. Well, I guess I should let you guys get back to whatever, you know, see you at home. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to take a wild stab here. I guess that he's not so thrilled that you're working for me. Shopping on company time. Oh, man. Don't tell the acting chief of staff. Shopping for anything good? Yes! I um, actually want to get Tad a gift, a thank you gift, you know? And I was thinking maybe, um, like, a new game console or, you know, uh, I don't know. Do you think he'd like that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, you know, something for his office. And, and I, actually, I could get him a game to go with it, too. It does That's, sound yeah. like Tad. Yeah, yeah. He would like that. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's perfect. Trying yeah. to get to know him pretty well, huh? Yeah, he's an easy guy to get to know. He's the world's best hubby. Yeah. Hey, Ma. Well, get a load of you bouncing through here like a teenager. What are you talking about? Well, nothing. Stop it, okay? Whatever you think is going on between me and Kara. I'm not it's... thinking anything. I'm not thinking a single thing. I'm just, uh, whatever it is that's, uh, putting that spring in your step, uh, I like it. Hey, Kendall, just got your message. Hey. It's sounded urgent. What's up? Wow, I'm, uh, I'm actually surprised I caught you. I figured you'd be out schmoozing. Oh, but you couldn't do that, could you? Because there's no dinner tonight. It was canceled. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Binks, fill me in on that part. Busted. <clears throat> what do you want me to say, Kendall? Um, I don't know. Maybe tell me why. What was going on that you felt like you had to lie to me? What was it? Would you have a hot date? Well, why didn't you just say so? I don't know. Uh, felt awkward, I guess. Well, well, you're being silly. I mean, come on, you work so hard. You, I'm glad you're going out having fun. Right, right. Well, it was a dumb move on my part. I'm sorry. It's getting late. Can I give you a ride home? Um, actually, I have my car. Uh, but you can walk me to the garage. I'm melting 
in a tear stream you won't swim and when I look in the mirror I don't know what I see cause without you here I'm just not For you, I can almost hear you breathe, haunting me in the midnight as I reach out to no one.